Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ATL KV Labs. So guys, uh, today we will look at one of the very important, uh, you know, uh, feature about pandas that is uh, group by, right? So as we know that uh, using group by, we can actually group, uh, you know, similar kind of data uh, and this, uh, uh, in SQL, right? We will see how the syntax works for SQL also. Right, but uh, uh, as you already know that who are familiar with the SQL, how does it work? And the similar thing is there, uh, the group by function or group by uh, feature in Pandas also, that uh, we will look at today, right? And that will be really very uh, useful, right? Because actually you are able to uh, uh, fetch the data based on certain group from a file, right? Because actually you are uh, reading the data from the file and then on this file when we are storing the data into data frame and then you are actually able to perform those kind of activities right so let's try to see how it is useful and uh, this is one of the very uh, good feature basically guys uh, in pandas so let's try to see what sort of data do we have basically here so in this excel i have i try to read this excel and let's see what data is there so if you look at we have uh, okay okay doesn't matter right so employee number and this is index no worries so employee number uh, are there employee name is there department number country and salary right so these are certain columns in this particular file and then what i would like to do is i would like to uh, do certain group by so let's say i want to find out the i want to find out how many uh, you know what is the count uh, okay how many departments are there right right so the department and count of each of the department right so for example it one two so there are two it departments means two records for uh, the it department and three for finance and two for business right so basically we would like to get the count uh, count are basically find out the the employees uh, employee count for each of the department right so this is the right statement right so when uh, normally when we do it using sql so we write something like this select department i uh, department right and then we say count of department and then something like this guys right from let's say let's say here let's say it's df and we imp emp this is table and then we say group by and we say dpt right and then we get output like it and then uh, right like in this format it and then count will be two finance the count will be three and business count will be two something like that we get right so this is how we write actually in okay i will just comment it guys okay now i will show you how can we write using pandas right so this particular data we have stored in data frame now i will use one group by so i'll just use this uh, variable or i will say this um, you know storage right now df dot i will say group by because this is the data frame on in this data frame i am running this group by together right so there is no space group by and then guys i have to actually pass this uh, column name so based on what based on department right and this is how we have to do it now let's try to run okay now i need to find what basically i am able to group it now and now what i want to do is i want to actually get uh, what i want to just get the count for each of this department so dept and then count guys right let's see how does it work see guys so it's giving you department business to finance three it two something like that we are actually able to get it now right and similar way actually we might have get uh, using this SQL as well right so we are getting here department and here the count right 
so this is how actually you we can use it right and uh, so uh, so now this is based on one particular column right and for example let's say if I need to get uh, uh, this based on let's let me see what sort of data do we have here I don't know let me df and run it okay one second guys okay uh, all right no I just want to run it here it's okay so let's say if I want to get based on department number I mean I I want to consider multiple columns right so for example department and country based on that so for example for IT and for the combination of the IT department and country how many IT only one record here one record two records right uh, and for finance let's say we have Hong Kong and for finance guys we have uh, finance uh, department finance and country Hong Kong again uh, we have finance and Singapore now we have here also finance in Singapore so finance in Singapore will have two counts right something like that so let's try to see how it works guys okay now what we have to do is first of all we have to write this group by condition also uh, and since this particular group by condition is, there is a single right single value now what I want to do is I want to actually put two values here okay two columns right so now country also based on country I want to find out uh, I want to group it based on uh, country and department both right now this is oh one second is there any issue okay guys uh, country n alright I am able to do it now uh, here also I need to display right I need to display two columns right so what are the columns I need to display I have to give it here so I want to give in this particular list right so if you want to supply more than one value then we have to give the list and list is basically this is square bracket that's why guys here you see I have put the, if I have to supply these two values that's why I have used this list otherwise I don't need to use the list if I have a single value right now here also we have to supply two values so before that it was like this right now I need to supply these two value so I can simply copy this guys okay and uh, let me paste it here perfect right now if I need to run it and and see how it works right you see guys uh, okay uh, just remove it so this is what okay now we are able to get so now department business we have count two because for business we have uh, both the countries are United States only so that's why it is coming to finance and for IT finance also see guys we have three records for finance and uh, there are two country Hong Kong and Singapore Singapore is having two uh, records for Singapore and Hong Kong only one so this is how we can actually uh, you know use multiple uh, columns to support this uh, you know uh, group by right now guys I'll show you one more feature okay so if let's say um, I want to okay I don't want to use two columns guys I want to use just only one column okay something like that okay leave it I just want to run it okay now this particular G if I want to find out uh, okay if I want to find out so now G is basically what it is um, let's see if I type it G and if I run it it's basically nothing but the group by right so it is a group by data frame right so if I need to find out what is there in this particular because it's not giving any value so I'll say element or I will say grp some name right in g okay now if I say print grp okay grp let's see guys what we get okay so we are able to get certain data here right isn't it now if I can say grp let's see what happens oh 
one second guys is there any problem I think I one second okay I don't want leave it okay now let's try to run it and uh, this also and this this also oops what's causing the problem Oh, he has to do print, right? And now this one. So now you see, guys, uh, there is certain data, employee number, employee name, etc. Actually, it is coming. And uh, not really very um, great view. But let's try to do one more thing. So g dot if I need to get the group let's say for IT department IT if I need to get what I will say here is IT okay let's see what we get so we are actually getting the data frame with uh, with IT right so for IT we have this if I get finance then actually we are able to get the grouped data here also we are able to get the data for finance right so this is how actually we can do it guys right so that's all i think for this video this is very basic one right and you should be able to you know perform this kind of data so this is again uh, etl testing uh, you know uh, you can actually uh, do this complex kind of uh, you know uh, grouping and all those kind of validation using this pandas right otherwise uh, you know getting this kind of view in any excel sheet or any csv it's very very difficult you will not be able to do it guys right you cannot uh, you know get uh, you know group by etc on the pandas right uh, sorry uh, on on excel sheet or any uh, file based systems right and this is where I will tell you this is where uh, one second guys just okay so guys uh, so this is what we can do right <coughs> sorry so uh, let's say if I have my source system as uh, let's say CSV all right fillet filer so we now target is let's say you know uh, database right DB in this case if I need to you know find out uh, find out data based on certain group uh, I mean let's say if I want to find out you know department wise data for example this is my source right so based on department I want to find out the count right so department and count of each of the department how much each of the department is sending the data right in that case I can actually run the use the the pandas and get it done and here also I can write the SQL query and I can actually do it that's what I have actually showed you before right so this kind of things we can actually uh, do if uh, we need to do grouping etc then we can use the panda as well right so that's all for this video guys and uh, I hope that uh, you know you know at least this basic stuff right and uh, uh, I hope that uh, you know we are able to you are able to understand it and if you still have any doubt uh, do comment in the video and guys uh, i am not getting uh, your likes uh, on this video because i am doing this series and uh, i was expecting that you are liking it or not and i am also not getting great views on this videos right so i think i have i have uh, you know i have uh, covered this is the second video how we can actually approach the etl testing you know using uh, the pandas right and uh, I have to cover some more uh, but uh, I really need some sort of uh, you know encouragement also guys because if you're not utilizing this I think this is of no use right my uh, whole effort is going to be waste right so that is the reason I am again and again asking you please utilize this and try to you know uh, uh, learn the things right because this is very unique and uh, believe me nobody uh, will tell you how you can use the pandas for using the etl testing everyone will be telling you 
how to use the pandas or numpy for uh, you know the data science data science analysis etc but nobody is going to tell you how where and how you can use the pandas for our etl testing or the data warehouse testing etc right or the database testing all those kind of things i am actually trying to correlate and tell you right and this is believe me if you learn this and if you tell this to the interviewer they will be super duper impressed right i think um, I think this is very very uh, niche thing. I think many people uh, do not know how do we utilize pandas for our ETL testing, right? So that's why I think this is very important series, and uh, I seriously hope that you are utilizing it. And uh, yes, guys, that's all for this video, and uh, I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, happy learning. God bless you. Bye.